Get on, folks, and we'll take a little ride. Just a minute while we fire up the old iron horse, and then we're off to take a look at the past and present of the fine art of getting from one place to another. Ages and ages ago, when man discovered that wheels go round, he was all set to start traveling. And think of all the steps the horse has saved us. The horse made a great mistake when he allowed himself to be tamed. First thing he knew, he was hauling covered wagons. And after the horse opened up continents and did a lot of heavy work like that, man, the lazy old thing, found other jobs for him. Oh, well, Samantha, them was the good old days, wasn't they? Yes, sir -ee. But now see how classy we're getting. Rumble seats and everything. And as for mileage, so oh, they got about 14 miles to a peck of oats. Now that is a hat. And oh, dearie me, when the ladies went riding in those days, only the horse had legs on each side. And if you had a rig like this, you felt about the same way the bird does today who owns the latest model 16-cylinder car. And here's an old-fashioned horse car, one of those that used to run, well, not run, walk on Broadway, New York, when 14th Street was way uptown. In India, you can still see very ancient methods of transportation. Of course, not everybody is rich enough to keep his garage full of elephants. But even the litter carried by husky hirelings will put you pretty high in the social scale. And the good old ox cart, relic of the dim past, is still going strong in India. The laps of northern Sweden and Norway have trained the noble animal made famous by Santa Claus, the reindeer, to haul him around in a thing called the akya, which looks like the front half of a canoe. But transportation by animals went into the discard pretty much all over the world when man found out how to make gasoline vapor behave. Probably you're not old enough to remember those early autos of about 35 years ago. Well, this is how the roads in France looked when the craze took hold, hitting it up to about 12 miles an hour, and what snappy models. Well, we can laugh at these old crocs, but they were classic cars in their day. Of course, autos got a lot better, but we want to talk about other things. So away with automobiles. There, nobody will have to buy gas and oil for that one anymore. Here's another on its way to the old car graveyard. Don't be alarmed, there's nobody in them. The trick is to jump out before the car takes you too far. Oh, well, they're just ordinary cars. And I've got something different to show you. Here's the famous German rocket car. On this new principle of locomotion, controlled explosions of the rockets in the rear form the motor car and it's off. The inventors think they've found the means to unheard of speeds. They've the Main Street full of this sort of thing. Oh, well. Folks are always thinking of new ways of getting about. Here's a cross between the old-fashioned sleigh and the newfangled airplane. The neighbors all said it wouldn't work, but gosh, it did. Here it is on its way to giving every horse in the county an awful scare. Quick now, guess what this funny-looking thing is? You're right. It's a rotor ship. No matter what direction the wind is blowing, air currents make the rotor revolve, and that furnishes power to work the propeller shaft. Remember the old song, please, Mr. Captain, let me get out and walk? Well, this bird works in San Francisco and lives in Oakland and saves ferry fares by doing his commuting this way. This pretty French girl, Mademoiselle Fanner, wanted to go to England. Voila, she goes. She was the first to do this stunt. If you know the English Channel, it will almost make you seasick to look. Most of the way, the old channel was just like this, but Mademoiselle kept right on and reached the English coast in 11 hours. While we're in England, we'll just take time to prove that the good old days of coaching aren't all gone yet. This is the famous old Barclay coach in use since Dickens' day. In America, too, coaching isn't quite dead. That's W.H. Vanderbilt up there on the box. And here comes the Vanderbilt coach swinging up Fifth Avenue, just like the old days. The coach itself is an old English specimen and used to run between London and Brighton. Sort of interesting to find a young man who amuses himself with a sport practiced by his grandfather. Maybe this is the way you like to do your traveling. If you haven't an elephant or a camel or a horse to ride on, you always have your dogs anyway. Sometimes it's a good scheme to take a canoe along when you go walking. Then if you come to a river or ocean or some other very damp place, you can keep right on going. 
It's even better when you just sit still and let somebody else push the ship along. In Venice, the motive power is a human engine with a real kick, especially if you don't tip him enough. Maybe you prefer a gondola that has an internal combustion engine. Well, it's all a matter of haste. But until you've tried this, you don't know what water is for. Sailing, sailing over the ocean blue. Buy yourself a nice big yacht and you can do it too. Oh, a life on the ocean wave, a home on the rolling deep. Some folks still have dough to blow this way. And many a stormy wind shall blow ere that jack comes home again. But after all, most of us are landlubbers and do our traveling this way, in one of the millions and millions of cars that go dashing about all over this planet. Or else we stick to the good old train and forget all about gas and oil and tires and day tours and back seat drivers. This happens to be a European train, which accounts for the scenery with the French accent and the wine steward. But if you're just so darn modern that you find train travel too slow and boresome, probably you've tried the newest and fastest of all, the airliner. But even scooting around in the sky is getting pretty commonplace nowadays. So I ask you, you've tried trains and autos and ships and motorboats and horses and airplanes, but did you ever try riding a camel? Well, that's what you're doing now. We're riding through Jerusalem. Yes, sir, this is the holy city as it looked to a somewhat bewildered camera. We asked the camel driver if we could take a movie from the camel's back, and he said, and how? Well, this is how. The ship of the desert is sure tossing and pitching. Find that slow? Okay, let's go. If it's speed you think you need, we'll make you happy. How's this for happy? Knight, step on the gas. Let nobody pass. For Pete's sake, forget that break. Open the throttle and also a bottle, for that's the way we do today. Speed, speed is what we need. On that today, we're all agreed. See him step? Plenty of pep. Here we come, making things hum. Speedy and busy till everyone's dizzy. As long as we last, let's all go fast. But oh, my brain. We're on a train. But gosh. There's a cop. You'll have to stop just as well. I feel like taking a rest now. So long, folks.